Yeah, I don't know how wait, this works. Alright, right. so you you mind put it on us for the intro though? At least, alright, thank you, sir. <laughs> Damn, yo, we at least, to, yo, yo, you we fire, got, you're fired. We yo, gotta get a new cameraman. Yo, <laughs> Welcome to another episode of Awkward Silence. Alexis, motherfucking Johnny Doe. You know, young Cree behind the camera. All right, that's how I know y'all lit because those intros y'all like let people know who the fuck it is behind the mic. <laughs> y'all know who the fuck it is, Johnny Doe. Anyway. We here today live from Springfield Gardens. Okay, Springfield Gardens. I don't even know what part of the world we at right now. Yo, do you live in Southside Jamaica? I, I like that shit, Richie. <laughs> when you send me addresses of places that I don't know where I'm going, I, I get scared. I just I don't know. I don't feel safe. Dude lives in Southside, right off of Mark Brewer. Get, imagine we get into a fight across the street. Like, do I know anybody who I could run to right now? Exactly. First of all, you don't fight. Let's all get right. that out. Anyway, of the way. but I know somebody who does fight. Who? Our guest today. <laughs> That's Ladies okay. and gentlemen, <laughs> we have <coughs> the one and only Big Kev, and uh, other people know you from somewhere else. Somewhere you might, else. might be on a little show out there. You might on a, you little, might, on a little, little show. On well, a little show. Not every, nothing big. Not yeah. everybody big. has heard of it because not everybody has premium cable. Let's keep it real. Some oh. of y'all, oh. some of y'all mm. wait until the African guy on the corner have the DVD, then you want to, you want to. Oh yeah, I just saw season one. I'm like that was like four years ago, <laughs> brother. Yeah. I, I don't want to. I don't want to give the website out, but my nigga, there's a yeah, website. There's a, web, there's a website. There's a there's website. A, that's how, how you think I watched it? What? Sorry, fifty. Uh, nah, there's a couple. I mean, the best way to do it is you go, you you know, split the cost. Uh, you know, Stars app, eight ninety nine a month. Well, you just get somebody's password. But I understand, you know, it's a hustle. Everybody it's got struggle, their thing going. Struggle. If so y'all don't know what we're talking about, they talk about a TV show power. They, they, I don't know why they <laughs> didn't just say it, but they for we some reason. We wanted you to introduce it. You know, we want white what do you, people. Don't we have white listeners too? You have white no, no. Don't, don't, white, don't say about white. Don't say about white. No, like white people listen, yo, because. He got approached at work when I met him by a white girl she that power. watches Power. Yeah, she loves there it, you man. So, I mean, you gotta, I mean, yeah. they got, they got huge Tommy fan. Tommy, let me tell you something. Oh, she liked Tommy. Tommy. She asked him about Tommy. Like, we used to believe in Eminem. Like, look, look. If you look around this room, they got Biggie, Tupac, and Jay-Z. And they're going to have Tommy. And, like, man, they... Eminem used to be on this wall, but now they're about to have Tommy. Like, this is the most <laughs> yeah. gangster white boy we've ever seen in <laughs> he, life. He's, in a, he's a great actor, and he's from Chicago, and he's... I mean, the character he plays is he's not that way in real life, but there's a part of him from Chicago that that, that touches comes out. that time Talk part. I, you said he's not like that in real life. From his yeah. Instagram, this nigga is in strip clubs with DJ Envy. Okay, yeah, no, he's living he's, life. He, well, he he got a hood pass. He's Yo, living he life. got a hood pass, and he's one of the realists. If you, he's living life. If y'all ever had the privilege of meeting him, you'll see what I'm talking about. He's a wonderful guy. You know, he's real cool. He's calmed down a lot from his you know his past, but. A lot of what he did in his past in Chicago helped influence his character, for, you know, for what he is on the show. Because you can't just be like that and not take that from somewhere. That comes from somewhere, you know. Well, we're hoping. So he's a uh, he's he's a real dude. Oh, shit. He is born and raised in Chicago. And he's, he's also an amateur Underpart boxer. So if you think oh, shit. some of that don't run shit up on he Tommy. does, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, that's just run real. up on Tommy. You think so? Now, real. You, you you did mention I, uh, I I was a fighter. Did you did you know I used to do MMA or something? Or is that did you like? Scroll my like Instagram. Or something. <laughs> he How probably did. You know? did. He probably I, I, did. I searched a, f- a few things prior to. So this is what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like when we when Jonathan tells me who's the guest, mm-hmm. I end up googling the shit out. I, like I know your criminal record. Are you trying to mama guy me now, bro? Everything you got in sixth grade. <laughs> I know who you hit in the yeah, lunchroom. Yeah. Like yo. Nah, yeah. I used to, yeah. I used to do MMA. It wasn't uh-huh. profession, but. Uh, well yeah, it was something straight. I trained in for a little bit. Yeah. Hey, go to White look, Hennessy. Look, look, look how they That's treat you, Briss. They give you White Hennessy in a bottle with the netting, with the fishnet. 
with the fishnet. He was looking for a cup, but y'all gave him the whole bottle. You're not going to get that <laughs> bottle back. Okay. Now that's it. So I mean, that's you know. what happens when you get here late. Kev, I'm going to let you know. So, only only for you mm-hmm. is Jonathan bringing out the fucking white heading. Right, Bruce? I appreciate you, man. Ain't that right, Bruce? This guy takes I'm care of me. I'm going to keep it a buck right now. I've been waiting for the... Oh, you can't hear me? I've been waiting for this bottle to come out. <laughs> Since I'm going to say, like, July. Damn. Exactly. He been and, having this and, one bottle. And this one bottle. I get here and the shit is done. <laughs> yeah. I, I mean, you did take long, fam. You, you, get take, out of, you, you did get out of work long. at 10 o'clock. You showed up at 11 o'clock. You sh- who <laughs> you mad at, me or <laughs> yourself? Come on, sorry. Nah, it's for He got juice thrown on him. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I don't believe that story. I don't believe that story. We don't, don't believe you. I don't believe that story as much as I don't believe that you left 50 and goes beat you up and get up that stick. Like, come on. You a big dude, sir. You couldn't shoot one of them niggas? You know, I will say this. Uh the funny thing the, they changed that episode the way that went down it was supposed to go out differently I was supposed to pull out a gun like Ghost oh, is coming his, I was supposed to go for my gun when he tried to get past me and the funny thing was uh, a little behind the scenes they have me in these really fitted pants and I'm not a small guy so you can't fit a gun <laughs> in your hip when you can barely get the pants around your hip. You hear so, that? You guys out there with the skinny jeans? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, the jeans were comfortable. Don't get me wrong. It's just that I couldn't fit the gun in there. And they had this uh, crash pad on my back to protect me from when I fell. So to put a gun on top of all of that, it's like, yeah, it's not going to work. So <laughs> what, what we changed up how everything went down. So. And yeah, some people say, y'all, some people got things. Uh, let me ask y'all a question out there who, who's listening right now or watching this. Let me ask you a question. When the last time you got hit by a gun? <laughs> and, you, and, Yo, you're still, honestly, and you're still standing. The, honestly, in the show, they make it seem like everybody gets hit by a gun. Like, you're just like, yeah, you're just like every character gets hit by a gun. You yeah. be all right. Like, yo. Yeah, you're right. I don't think most people get a gun to, you know what? I'm yo, not going to shoot his ass. I'm just going to hit him with the shit. You know what's the shit about power that I was talking about somebody the other day with somebody? It's like, yo, characters don't move away. They don't go get sent. To they don't jail. avoid. They just strictly die. Like this show is strictly <laughs> yeah. like, yo, he need to die. Like, yo, like where? If you like, think about it. That's all this show is about. It's like, yo, if we don't like somebody, it's like Angela need to die. Tyreek need to die. Like, <laughs> like why, why don't they just go to boot no, camp? Why don't that's... Angela get fired and get sent away? Like, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, it's like, yo, nah, this nah. Show... The thing is, the thing is on the show that everybody would say like, it would. They would be like, <laughs> everybody would be like, oh. They gotta kill him. Like she gotta go. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's the like, type of show. Is straight up killing. Like no, no. But what I'm saying is, like, when do they have all this time to catch up these bodies? Like, no, my thing is, like, yo, not one cop has done like research and said, wait a minute. Exactly. This, this like, like, nah, I yeah. found the body. Like these niggas are so ill in this show that they nobody can just kill ever everybody and just. However, mm. if you think if you revert back to see, there was a, a little thing that I caught. Okay. When Sean died, mm-hmm. Kanan had told Dre get rid of the body and make sure nobody finds it. Mm-hmm. But then they ended up finding it. Mm. What episode was that? That means Dre Back did, when Sean died. Dre did they a bad job. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Dre purposely did a bad job because this nigga is let's be honest, Dre can't be touched. Like if you no, if but, you set him to do Dre, something, he's remember, going to he do it. But, his, but Dre was also his character was like half lazy and half no, like they didn't think he, about he it killed, though. Like Dre, if they sent Dre to do the job, Dre's gonna get it done. However, with that specific Think, well, that was just my my thought that I. I, I think I was like, Wait a minute, my opinion show. is that like Dre is trying to get a come up, so he's seen that Ghost got the power. So all right, I'm under this guy. He won't let me out from under this thumb. How do I get out from under this? Let me do a real shitty job, get rid of the body. Then mm. he gets you know he gets caught. It comes up you know, and then <clears throat> the things cycle of events happen, and then you know Kanan's gone. Now it's, you know Dre is like yo, I, I want to do what you do and Ghost you. You live in this double life, man. I want that. I could do it. And you saw that in season three. Right. You know what I mean? So I think it was yeah, everything you, happens for a reason. Now, enough with the the show that people haven't watched and they're probably like listening like, like 10 damn. minutes. Yeah, you got to get the people, that, the the people that don't have stars. They're like, damn, they're pretty pissed off. Who, who is this guy? <laughs> I'm going to be honest. And I don't want you to get hurt if this nah, affects man, your career. It, but dude. who the fuck even has stars? Nobody. Nobody. Everybody waits till Nobody. like three, nine o'clock when they wake up on Sunday and go onto the right. website. And the website. No, yeah. you know, it's, Fire stick. Holla. It's um, not. It's not offensive to say that the show is the best show on Stars Network, and I'm not just saying that because I'm on the show. Well, the, the numbers don't lie. Yeah, yeah. It's numbers obvious. don't lie. Season three. The season three premiere of Power was the highest rated like ever for any show ever on Stars, and that season, if you remember. They renewed the show for two more seasons. Right. After episode two, which is unheard of. So for you it, it's this is the best show on stars, point blank. 
And the truth is, nobody... I mean, I don't know everybody, but I know a lot of people who watch Power once the season is done... They cancel their subscriptions, and that's just that's what Facts. a lot. Of, that's, that's what a lot, that's, that's what a lot of people. That. Yeah. If I'm being honest, that's nah, what a lot of people. There's another good show on Magic City. Magic City was a good show, but let's be honest, and it's, it's on power. stars. It's a lot of people, power. a lot of it's the fans, when they but talk you, to me, that's what they say. Look, you know, I watch it for power, and then when it's over, I cancel it. Which, now, when you say it's only for power on stars, isn't it like that? It broke the record. It didn't break the record like on any channel, like. No, because it's a it's a stars network. Yeah, I know, but just, I'm talking about like just in general, like yo, the show is fucking like nah, nobody who l- looks forward to a show as much. I mean, Whoa, yeah, you have no, Game, of Game of Thrones. Thrones. Game, Game of Thrones is the only yeah. show on premium cable that beat that beat Power. Mm. Um, was Game of Thrones, <clears throat> and then like yeah, that was that was for season four that I knew of. They give me all that work, huh? The, well, Game, nah, of Game of Thrones is, is a, show, a whole different animal, though. Game of Thrones is a show where niggas in the hood, when niggas in the hood talk about Game of Thrones, like, yo, my nigga, winter's coming. They're like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, when you hear niggas in the hood, like, that's your whole shit. I yeah, swear to God. White people talking shit. about it. That's one thing. Nigga. I've seen that you know what, nigga? If you want to bring race Honestly, relations yo, together in the yo, hood, in, Game in, of Thrones. At work, like, all the different races at work, like the whites, the blacks, the exactly. Latinos, we all get together to talk about, yo, you saw this Sunday? Yo, a fan might even see. Don't talk about it. It's like, yo, what's going to happen to that? That dragon, he, yo, he's gonna bro. come what? back, and or like, oh, did y'all see what happened to that dragon? Nigga? Yeah. Yeah. So when black folks and white folks and everybody talking about it, you know you have a problem. But power is the show that, like, it's for everybody. I mean, I know it's uh, don't burn yourself now. Oh, no. It's oh, a man. show. No, I feel like it's a show that anybody can watch. It's obviously a show with adult themes, but the truth is, it, it did have the highest ratings on season three, and it's one of the highest, if not the highest rated show on the Stars Network. So no. I feel you with that, but you know, yeah. it's it's not cock. I understand some people can't afford it, and that's all right. You know, share passwords or do what you gotta do, but make sure you watch it. Now, my thing with with power, one thing that gets me right is that y'all got kids on the show. Yes, Tyreek and Raina. Right. R.I.P. Raina. Moment of silence. <laughs> Moment of silence. Real quick. Hold up. <laughs> y'all gonna laugh? Y'all gonna laugh? Y'all gonna laugh like this is a joke? Yo, we mourning, we mourning a character. Yeah, you know what's fucked up? That I was reading like on the internet, like how people be like, "Damn, rest in peace, Reina," but they don't rest in peace like their boys or anything. Like after three Yo, months. But imagine they start getting tattoos. And now shit. back to this. Y'all got kids on the show, right? Yeah, there are and kids on the show. Yeah. How do y'all have kids, but then y'all have like these aggressive ass sex scenes, like? Because the sex scenes be popping. Like, let me tell you something. They tell a story. They tell a story on it. Like, you could tell the way they be fucking. Like, so then y'all got kids too watching. It's like, oh. Uh, I don't know if kids are watching. Skip this scene. I don't know if kids are watching. No, I'm talking about, this ki- I know, I'm talking about the kids on the show. Like, how does that go about? Like, yeah, well, I mean, the, the kids aren't standing there when, when they're having the sex scenes, you know. Well, they're standing there when they're watching <laughs> they the show. They would shut the production. Nah, Alex is a pervy, but yo, they fucking in their room. Yeah, they, they, there. Kids hey, got to be in there. Wait, wait. Like, hey, Tyree, where the 12-year-old at? Hey, Tyree, get, where the 15-year-old like, Get in there. Ass clapping, huh? Nah, <laughs> it, I mean, nah, but it goes to show you, like, how freaks the parents are like the mom is <laughs> meanwhile she got a 13 year old kid the mom is still a hoochie mama son yo word let's talk about tasha real quick do not know what these guys <laughs> are talking about let's talk about tasha if you want to know how the sex scenes work there's it's a very limited cast and crew on the set like the only people who are on set during the sex scene only only the people who need to be there director um the cameraman the actors and maybe one other person and that's it and i mean Metal. you know that's still that's still enough people. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, it's not. It's, y'all thinking? You see, y'all only seeing the finished product. Y'all thinking this this whole steamy sex thing. Now, it's one thing, you know, the actor and the actresses, you know, titties out, ass out. Oh, yeah. But there's nothing steamy or sexy about it when someone's telling you, okay. I need you to get on top of her and do that again. Do it slower. Okay, now yeah. move like this. I've seen an interview. You, they said it was like it could go up to like three hours just for like a 10 second. There's scene, nothing, right? that, nothing that turns you on. Nobody can, nobody who, nobody's fucking for three hours and still staying hard. You know what I mean? Like yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. I mean, nah, I <laughs> 20 minutes <laughs> tops if we're being real. I mean, they just talk about going for an hour. 20 I minutes mean, tops full I'm, hard. I mean, oh. a lot of titties in my face for three hours. <laughs> yeah, but, but let me guess you something. Hours. I'm going to beat. I'm going to make a snap judgment. You look like a guy who gets a lot of pussy, am I right? Yeah, false. Hey, 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 false. Hey, 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 oh, shit. But uh, I, what I'm saying girl, is... you hearing this, this is all, this is all fast and it's for the show. It's for the show. It's for the show. It's for the show. I don't know you personally. I'm just basically it's, it's, it's generalization. Show. I don't know. Nah, but like, um, nah, I know what you mean. Like, honestly, but I'm just like, saying, when you see one pair, you've seen them all, and after three hours of being in the scene with someone, 
with freezing cold because those studios are fucking cold. Like it's the temperatures up. So I mean, if it's Angela, I mean, I all mean, the women on the show hey. are beautiful. But I'm saying they're professionals. Everybody's professional, but it's hard to to really get any kind of like. Those actors are really acting because it's like you got to act intimacy. You got to make it seem like it's real and it's cold. There's like six people looking at you and it's like you, you yeah. got to focus on the person you're with and not on who's around you. Like, you know, like it's imagine me having a sex scene with this guy here with the camera. Like, yeah, I'm not even here. Just, yeah, just do, what you're get doing. You, get you, do what you're doing. Get her leg up in the air. Yeah, that's right. This bright ass light on your face is someone saying, all right, look, I need you to breathe a little more because it's, and you're just like, I can't, you know. I could imagine. It's one of the hardest things to do, man. That should be mad funny though. Like, like, like you, you got three hours with that person, so eventually it becomes a thing where you like leaning on her titties, and you just not even turned all like yo. So anyway, what, what you yeah, eating yeah I mean, you, you know, like, and you everyone is professional, like, well, grown well, what, what up. You, you know, after lunch, you it know? might be exciting at first. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like, it, you know, oh, it's nigga. exciting, but then after a while, it's just like, okay. Did you see the way Angela takes dick three hours, five hours. Bodily <laughs> they, they, functions happen. You they, know, they, they might be, they might be walking the street like, yo, Angela, you get busy, <laughs> right? Like on Mari, like in the locker room, like, hey, about that scene. <laughs> <laughs> it was it you or were you just acting? Dude, like I know y'all were fucking. Yo, Dude, nobody does a nah, scene like that. It's always acting. Trust me, they're just really good at what they do and they now, get good direction. Lots of cuts and stuff, so right. it looks a lot more intense. Now, I know your character is slowly building. When Man, you, I, wait, when you, when you going to get some goodie? Uh, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> you ready for know. those scenes? You ready for those scenes? Come on, Julio was fucking that Chinese chick. Oh, I never even true. Expected even that. Julio was fucking. Julio was fucking. Like, yeah, I on. think they saved that for the main characters, man. If you notice, I haven't even bust a gun on the show yet, and this is my Word. He hasn't third even bust a gun. How you season on the show. <laughs> <laughs> Not <laughs> once. I ain't even touch a gun. Not once. So, nah, it's all right. I mean, I hope you know the, the way I got on the show, and I don't. I know you guys are probably gonna get around to this at some point. I don't know, but um, they have. I'm just like. The salts on eggs, you know what I'm saying? Like ketchup on eggs. If you mm-hmm. put ketchup on eggs, it's like I'm there to kind of advance the storyline. And I, you know, the character hasn't really gotten a kind of a build yet. But you know, I'm I'm just happy for the opportunity, and I get to learn. The best way to learn sometimes is just kind of like being around people who are doing what you want to do and doing it better, making a lot more money than you doing it. And you watch what they're doing, and then you learn. So I've taken, you know. Th- what I'm not making in the money, because, you know, 50 of them, they're probably making a lot more money. So what I'm taking from them is just being in the presence and learning how they act and how they do their thing and then adding that to my career so I can build myself. Mm. The character, Grim, I don't know. But it's it's an opportunity. I love it. I'm happy doing it. And it, uh, they, the way it came to me, I mean, y'all want to hear about uh, it? Or, yeah, yeah. Like, we, we, we go. Like, how you got, like, how you I was got waiting for y'all to ask about show. that. All right, all right. <laughs> so, if the thing is, you can't talk about power for five minutes because you got to talk about every character yeah. and then go down the you list. Familiarize of everybody. everybody. Okay, so I'll make my thing brief. Y'all can ask me about the characters. I know about one here. Power. Enough about power. Let's. let's uh, how I don't know what's. First of all, I don't know what's happening on season five. Sorry. Don't stop me in the street. Nah, nigga, you know who's killing Drake right now? You killing Drake? I don't know what you're talking about. I'm going to be honest with you, son. Because I'm going to be mad as hell if you kill Dre. Before, before we go on to the next topic, no. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm-hmm. And I don't mean this to hurt your feelings. Nah, man. You dying next season. Yeah, you sure? <laughs> I, I just know it. I just know it. Because, yo, power gets rid of, like, the minute characters. Like, the, the, the characters that don't really, like, you, don't mm-hmm. grasp your heart. But it's like, you, you're you a key to the show. Yeah. So it's like, let's just kill you to get this person more. Like, you, you know what I'm saying? Well, now, the fact that they killed Reyna was like, whoa, what the fuck are y'all oh, doing? Yeah. Like, time out. Well, where y'all? Reyna's like, character like must have been 50, like, like, yo, what are you doing right now? So I'm like, this ain't even. Well, it's well, like well, I, I told y'all that, before we yeah, started like recording. It's, it's like, it's they don't do it just to do it for shock value. Everything they do is a reason and it's, it's argued out. Like, I'm not privy to the arguments they have in the writer's room, but people argue about things. If it's not going to advance the storyline, they're not gonna do it you know what i mean they don't just kill people because they need blood and guts because right. like, you watch power there's plenty of episodes where nobody dies but sometimes mm. to move the story like you wouldn't have hated ray ray's character as much as you did if he didn't shoot Ray. imagine if he didn't shoot her and he just mushed her in the head yeah but like, i think he's a bitch whatever <laughs> he'll get hit yeah, so. right. but you kill a little girl, and, and you, because on, nobody huh? cared cause <laughs> the, the, the fan chatter was people didn't really care because it was like oh Oh, Tariq's an idiot. Tariq got to die. But nobody wants to say nothing about Ray Ray. Everybody was like, well, I hope Ray Ray catch him and shoot his ass. Until 
He killed Raina, then all of a sudden everyone was like, the Well, that nigga gotta him. die. <laughs> Somebody's got to kill him. He just killed Raina. Oh my God. Is I yeah. for not, nigga. Like, oh, you gonna kill niggas? All right. Like, yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. Mm-hmm. Raina's character to me was a nobody. Like, you was Nah, like, the nobody's the little the, the little girl that the, everybody <laughs> talks about. Where is this little girl? So she's been in like two yeah. All of a sudden, she's, she's been years. in two episodes. All she was like, she got is, cute is, 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 is Raina coming? Where's Raina, Matt Q? And she's like, oh, now you want to be cute, sir. Well, <laughs> it's, it, I know you guys feel like she's a nobody, but check this out. Did you know that her character, she was his, uh, Tariq's twin sister? Raina and Tariq right, were right. twin brother and twin I sister. I didn't know that until now. Though. Yeah, right. Until, yeah. Now, yeah. maybe she didn't have as great of a role on the show as up until this point, but she was his conscience. Right. To be honest, she was like, people say, oh, she's a goody two shoes, a, a tattletale. But the truth of it is, she was the, the one, girl. season four, it's like, hey, what the fuck are you doing? Dad right. just got out of jail. They're, Chill, and yeah. nigga, nigga Tariq think, oh, yo, nigga, I'm ready for the streets. Yeah. Until he got a taste of the streets, and the nigga was like, I ain't ready for this shit, and yeah. he ran all the way home. You know, <laughs> nah, but his sister true, was the one true. trying to keep him, like, yo, stop. Yeah, yeah, like, I think I think we gained the love for her this season, obviously, and yeah. then like down the line, because let me be honest, like every time Ghost hugged her in like season three, season two, mm-hmm. it was like, all right, Ghost, hurry up, it gets to the good stuff, go fuck Angela. <laughs> but like on this part, it was like more like I think last season, season was two like, was just on. about fucking yeah. Angela. This season uh, was more like we, we start about. gaining love for Raina, and then like they yeah. just killed him off. Of course, we're gonna hate whatever character that was. But anyway, enough about how. Um, so how did you, as a matter of fact, like, because how did it come about? Like, we're gonna speak on. We're gonna speak on what you do on the regular. As opposed to your character on power, like right, it's doesn't ma- how how like whatever. How did you get on power? All right, so I started off. Um, I quit my job. I used to work. Uh, can I say the company's name? Yeah. Should I say the company's name? Shout them out real quick. Shout them out. out. Oh, my bad. <laughs> fuck them! I quit the job. Why would I want to shout them out? He didn't, leave, those he, guys. he didn't leave on good terms. They didn't get no uh, service no, package. I didn't quit. fold. Fuck Target. <laughs> nah, no, nah, I, I used to work. It wasn't. I used to work at Enterprise Rental Car. It was. Hey, a, my oh, you know what? Too. A lot of people hate Enterprise. Yo, I know a few people. I don't people. hate them. Enterprise. It just shit. <laughs> but if y'all want to, I, you want to sponsor. Towards the sponsor. end, things weren't really working out for me so good. So it just, uh, I wasn't happy. Can I move this? Yeah. yeah. I wasn't too happy. So I quit the job and I, uh, I used to do radio and I was trying to get on radio. Radio wasn't happening. I went to Connecticut School of Broadcasting. It was great to learn how to do, you know, what we're doing here. But as far as getting me on the radio, it didn't. So then, um, you know, I was doing comedy at the time. And one of my fellow comedians, her name is Jessica Stern. Shout out to Jessica Stern. Um, Follow her on Instagram. Mm -hmm. Shout out, Jessica. Uh, She told me about this thing called central casting. And she was like, it's acting. Now, anybody who's a fan of mine, it's just weird to say that I have fans. Anybody who's a fan of mine knows that my uncle was also an actor. My, uncle, my uncle's name is Sullivan Walker. Rest in peace. He was a mm-hmm. big-time actor. He was on The Cosby Show. He was in the mm-hmm. firm with uh, Tom Cruise. He played 50 Cent's grandfather in uh, Get Rich or Die mm-hmm. Trying. Big-time actor. He was trying to get me into it from before, and I was too young and stupid, and I was like, nah, I'm not feeling it. So um, when it presented this opportunity, now nah, I was like, ah, you know, I'll try it. It was background acting, extra work. It wasn't anything popular. I did that. Um, I got on Luke Cage. If anybody who's uh, watches Luke that. Cage, you can peep me on that. I did. Uh, was, I, what hmm? episode was that? Yeah, I, I don't know, man. You'd have to like go back and yeah, look. Yeah, because I watched Luke. I was you you can't forget this forehead. It. So once you see, <laughs> <laughs> once you watch it, you see. Oh, there, there, there you go. There you go. That forehead is that three D? No, this ain't three D. <laughs> regular size forehead. I did a couple episodes of The Good Wife, Luke Cage, Daredevil, and. Um, a couple other episodes of, you know, things. And then, like, um, I was trying to get on power as an extra just because I liked the show. And I was like, damn, I want to get on the show, man. 50 show, 50 show. I didn't watch it, but I just wanted to be on it just to say, all right, I did power. And then the opportunity came to be, like, um, the featured role in season two for people who watched the show. Uh, I was Ghost's uh, bodyguard when he came in to get the money from Julio to give to Lobos when he was trying to... Yes. Season two, yes. I opened the door for him. That's the first time I was on the show. That was season two. And they. what I didn't know at the time was when we were filming that, and I did two more episodes that season, I, I met Courtney, but I didn't know who she was. Just randomly just comes up to me when I'm sitting there chilling with my stuff on. She's like, hey, you look you look really good. We, I like how you look. You're like, I was like, oh, thanks. And I thought I was going to bag, you know. <laughs> I was just some lady <laughs> like, come up to me on set. Walk- let me, you know, let me see what's up. She's trying to bag or whatever. And then somebody came up to me. She's like, yo, you know who that was? I was like, no. That's the creator of the show. I said, oh, shit. Mm-hmm. <laughs> wow. What she want with now, me? Now, 
But I forgot about it. I'm sorry. I'm getting off track. I forgot about it. Fast forward. Between season two and season three, they wrote a new character on a show called Black Grimace. And they called me up and said that we think you will be good for this part. We want you to come in and audition. So I came in and auditioned. Now, I, I, this is like my first like major TV anything. You mm -hmm. feel me? So I come in and I audition and I was nervous about it. And she was like, yo, you got it. We loved you. And then from I did two, no, three episodes, season three, and then season four, seven episodes. And now, uh, a a little blessing. that's how it happened. Luck, hard work, preparation. That's it. Nah, I mean, God bless you. Like, make it, yeah, I know, man. make it sound easier than it. No. Yeah, like, nah, like, <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I can only imagine because you're telling the story and it yeah, makes it seem I like mean, you did that in a I left a lot of shit out, but, like, but it doesn't happen like do, that, man. What I want to know is a little backtrack because I feel like we skipped a the part. There's a lot. Who told you or like how do you go prep and like run us through like the whole thing like you knowing that there's an open slot who tells you this? Who, but where do I didn't go? know there was an open slot. Oh like where do you show up to? I didn't know there was an open slot. It was I was at home like at the time I was still doing background work. You know what I'm saying? Because Season two was like, for me, was like a big deal. I was like, great. If I never do anything else, hey, at least I, I can say I was on power. And um, I completely forgot about it until I got a call from the people at Central Casting because that's who I had applied originally through. And they said, hey, uh, look, um, the producers in power want your number. Uh, is it okay if I give it to them? I was like... Nigga, Hell what the yeah. fuck are you calling like, me? Why are you, you waiting? Yes. <laughs> and then you call me and tell me. Like, I'm like, oh, call okay. him back right now. You know what? The Put him on three way. Yeah, Put him on three way. You're wasting my time. What yes. Then you, so you know what I'm saying? Friend. I was. I was like, fuck you calling me. You know what? We all got friends like that. Yeah. Like, I got Jonathan to do something. Yeah, I just want to. Eminem, Eminem wants your number. Should I give it to him? I just <laughs> want to make sure you're okay with it. Bitch, yes. Is it that? Then give him my number. So then that that was how it happened. Then they called me. It's like, look, we. We want you to come in an audition. We think this part might be good for you. It wasn't until later on that I found out that when they saw me on screen um, on season two, they really liked my look, but they wanted to make sure that I could act as well. Um, so when I came in an audition and I did what they asked, they loved it. And um, that's what Courtney, Courtney, you told me specifically. She's like, yo, you're like one of our favorites on, on the thing. And I, you, know, I, you know, people tell you things you don't believe them, but when they brought me back and... Brought me back again for season four. I was like, I, well, they can't be lying. There must especially, be. I must be doing something right. And it was a, it was a when blessing. They don't, they don't kill him yet, <laughs> right? But I gotta tell no, you, people you who are listening and watching, that's not. It don't happen like that forever. I don't want people sitting there that got their hopes and dreams like y'all want to act too and do that. You have to put the work in. I, I, I hate to say it, I was lucky, but it doesn't happen like that for everybody. Sometimes it does, and you're you're lucky and you're blessed, right place, right time. But it don't happen like you got to put the work in. You know what I mean? Right. Like you don't just, I got a lottery ticket and it's a blessing and I was ready. But anybody else that can happen to, if you're not ready and you fuck up, that could be your last chance. So whatever you, just make sure you ready for the opportunity when it comes that you, you got to be able to go LeBron. You know, mm -hmm. you got to be able to go LeBron in the fourth quarter hard. So when it comes, you ready. But, you know, you just got to keep grinding. That's all. Now, what I was saying back then yeah. earlier was that I didn't want to say yet, but. For people that don't know, you're a comedian. Yes, I am. You're a stand-up comedian. Stand-up comedian, yeah. And then you go into this role where you have to be yeah. a fucking bodyguard, serious, <laughs> straight yeah. up, making movie mad bricks. So, like, how do you, how does that work? Like, for somebody that is like used to making people laugh so mm -hmm. much, how do you get into like this dark space, especially for this character where you have to like legit. This is what you do. You hurt people. Yeah. You stand there fucking waiting let, for some shit to let happen. Me, let me give you my intelligent answer. Wow. Well. <laughs> uh, well, the way I, I, the, the way I feel inside us. You know, I'm so, I, uh, I'm so, uh, I channel my energy. I'm so in, uh, happy that you actually brought that question up to, you know, you want to talk about my acting technique. I mean, it, I, for everybody, it's something different. Everybody has something that like motivates them or makes them you know, that person. So for me, it was just thinking about a bunch of niggas I don't like. <laughs> Damn. Like, on a, if you knew me on a regular, like, regular, anybody who knows me knows that I'm the nicest person in the world. Some people would say, like, you know, you're way too nice. That's a curse of a big guy. I'm 6'4", I'm a black guy. I look intimidating. 
So um, most of my life I've spent trying to convince people that I'm not the scary guy. It wasn't until recently I was like, well, fuck it. I'm this guy. Yeah, fuck. Yeah, I'm scary motherfucker. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> like, Don't fuck with me. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm a scary you, motherfucker. Have you seen yourself in a Montclair bubble jacket? <laughs> that should have felt <laughs> nice. <laughs> 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 like, like, do you like see yourself <laughs> approaching that's somebody why, else? That's why they ran over the Spanish dude, because they, they couldn't run his yeah. ass over. That, like, that uh, nice uh, ass jacket on yeah. that motherfucker was just like that. That's somebody, a nice jacket. Somebody tweeted me that they saw me in a jacket. like, yeah, I see Blimmin' Grimm. That uh, that Montclair jacket, that shit was looking real nice. I was like, hell yeah, that shit like, felt Tommy like paying these niggas so much. I'm sleeping in the clouds. That comes I didn't know drug jacket. dealers pay that well. I'm about to quit my job. Yeah, well, that, that money's real good, for you, man. I had on. Nah, two but you jackets. know what's mad funny though that I told with Ed, with Andrew, he's another room. Uh, he's every time I I hate when they be like in the show, yo B, we gotta move mad weight. Like, yeah. nigga, nobody talks like that in real life. Wow. Like, yo, you guys can't move the weight. There's a problem with the connect. Like, dude, they, nobody talks like but that. But they have to use terminology. TV. No, TV. but TV. that's not even yeah, street like, terminology, like, even, though. Even the Dominican characters on the show ain't Dominican. Like, don't, yeah. we, we don't move Oh, no, like no, 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 my bad. I'm confusing the show. Like that. Y'all, well, y'all gotta say that. F- <laughs> side note. Y'all got to watch He's talking about Narcos. Empire. No, 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 Narcos. Got a scene. Dude, they got a Mexican dude playing a Dominican. And we know he's a Mexican. <laughs> we Dominican, know. Like, that's, come on. Not that's even that. that. No, that's he's a, a famous Mexican comedian. <laughs> <laughs> so the nigga saying, yeah. Kelo K. Yo. Oh, my. That's it's a horrible, horrible. Yo. That's that's the thing of TV. I mean. If I produce a show, if we produce the opposite of the show, LA. every character is going to be that character. Exactly. Like you a gotta, black guy is gonna be a black guy. You know what I'm saying? The yeah. Dominican guy, I'm gonna that's get my racist. uncle. That's my that's uncle. Exactly that's you heard what he said, right? A mm. black guy's gonna be. Because Alex, 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 no, no, no. Alex got him. this whole you thing with the dark him. and light Ladies thing. And gentlemen, you heard him first. John is a racist. He said the black guy's gonna be black. That means he only has one vision for black people. Yeah. How who's to say from Obama to Easy E? Like, what character are you talking about? Like, like. Which type of black are you 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 talking about, sir? Are you talking I, about the type of Alex. black that can catch a cab, or are you talking about <laughs> yeah. the kind of black that don't catch a I'm cab? Which, which black? Oh, the nigga, I a, can't, I'm there's 30, a, I'm there's only two blacks out there. You can catch a cab, or you can't. Yeah, no, nah, that's the only two. I'm, I'm 37. I haven't caught a cab yet. I got an Uber. That shit. That's the only way I catch a cab. <laughs> even nah, that. But, even now they're questioning it. They're like, yo, that's not you. <laughs> no, nah, but he's it right. In, in Hollywood, there's a lot of people that play roles. Like, there's a lot of people you think that are younger than they are that they're not. Like, do you guys watch Modern Family? I it's, a, it's one of the here top, here top comedies on TV. Won a yeah. lot of Emmys. Is it on Stars? No, no, not no, on it's Stars. It's on Prime so, Time. I don't know. Yeah, ABC. Yeah. Well, uh, side note: there's a lot of money on uh, still on uh, network television. People. If I, I I would love to get on network te- network yeah. television because more people would see me. No, no offense, love my opportunity again, but network TV is bigger than regular cable because there's I a lot you. of people that still don't have cable yeah. right. and they only have basic. If, if power there's was on show. network television, oh my god! But if what? power was on network television, if power was on network television, I would be able to see a lot of cities. So no, you wouldn't. No, you wouldn't. No, would not. Oh, you want to see all those fucking scenes? That's fucking. That's kind of at some point that ain't that ain't that's like porn. It's going to come to network TV at some point because when I did um, the ADR stuff, which is basically when you re-record the audio for certain scenes that got messed up, I also had to record clean versions of some of the lines that we had in some of the show. Oh. So uh, you heard it here. So it will at some point. One of these days, <laughs> at some point, the some syndication is coming to like yeah. TBS. No, because there's no like, there's, yo, the syndication money is crazy. Oh I, yes, it's crazy. Now, yo, niggas still buy mansions off those syndication from yeah. the '90s. You don't think Will Smith's still eating? He eating good he's, too. He's, he's, he's gassing up his crazy. Oh, the, fact crazy that, the fact that Will Smith is like going bald, but I still yeah, no, no. cry when Seinfeld. he asks about his father. Uh, like, come on, son. Like, it's been 25 years, and I'm still watching the same episode feeling the It still make you cry. Really good now, actor, which, like, would you ever see yourself, like, on, like, shows like Blackish or ATL? Yeah, absolutely. Like, you, you, asked, you, were, you were asking me about doing... Uh, I think ATL is funny as fuck. Yeah, it is. I, I, I can't though. wait for the season two for that show. Yeah. show so fucking Sign. funny. Um, you asked me about doing comedy. I've been doing comedy since uh, 2013. And uh, actually, before I get into that, uh, I just want to give a quick shout out to my boys, the leaders of stand up. We have a comedy show coming out, Caroline's on Broadway, hey, biggest stage Cal- in New York. Caroline is Caroline. Caroline. Oh, October man, 19th. Caroline? Yes, Caroline's on Broadway. This October nigga, 19th. Is paying these <laughs> <laughs> October 19th, better not bring your kids. Tickets are $20. But if you go online right now uh, to carolines.com, use the promo code BNBYK, you can get $10 off your tickets. Jeez. And last year, we sold out. 
Caroline, so this year we're expecting nothing less. Our headline is Warren Gardner. We got Christina Galston, Asia Bennett, uh, Rashad Bashir, Justin Ramos, and um, this internet comedian, his name is Last with Travi. He's got like 16,000 followers. It's going to be a dope show. Hope uh, You guys can come, I hope. Um, you know, oh, it, we'll be there. We should, and we should it, go. We should tell go. your listeners yeah, yeah. to come out. It's gonna be there. It's, we we gotta pay. Definitely go ahead and use. I'm, it's <laughs> not I'm on the my, website right now. Look, I got the Wi-Fi <laughs> on. I'm. It's not my show, oh, so you gotta we, pay. We part of the act, sir. Excuse but me, you you gotta yes, you gotta use the promo code BNBYK. That's when you get like the ten dollar tickets. You feel right. me? Um, but comedy, I would love to do comedy, man. It is is my passion. Like people ask me which one I prefer, acting or comedy, and I say acting because acting pays the bills, but I love comedy. Comedy is a passion, bro. And it's nothing like you can you you can be an actor, but you can't be an actor that goes to do comedy. It's like weird, you know what I mean? Like it's easier. Right, I right, feel right. it's like, easier for comics to become actors, actors than for actors right. to become comedians. You can see that through like Jamie Fox or yeah, he Jamie, started off doing Will comedy Smith himself, yeah. right? Yeah, well, he, can, well, he well, started off as a rapper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't um, really, that was a bad one, but he didn't really get funny until after Bad Boys and Martin. And Martin yeah. gave him a little bit I of tips, Martin, and yeah. then, you know. but like, all right, like even Martin, like comedian going there you go. on, and like I just yeah. see like, like it's easy to do something. Like I don't think, like. Not to it's shit. Basically, not, not, not stepping to, out your comfort like zone. Like not not to shit on my partner. But is this the awkward brother. silence part of the show? Because yeah, he yeah. keeps stopping it. We starts it, the question. Nah. It's like yeah, he gets emotional. Nah, but not to, partner, not, not to shit on my partner. Not not to shit on my partner. But to shit on my partner. Like he tries to be funny. You can't be funny. Mm. You just gotta be funny. That's what I'm here for. People, shout out to me. And follow <laughs> I'm me funny as fuck. All right, nah, but I'm yeah. joking. But seriously, um, like yes, I do agree with you 100. percent Like you yeah. can't go from com, like from comedy, you could go to acting, but you can't go. It's, from it's acting hard. You to, can do it, but it's really hard. And the people that do the, it's I don't I can't think of any actors that started acting and then just started doing stand up. Like I don't know any of time. Maybe there are some, but it's few and far in between. What about, what about this guy? Who's the fucking the white guy you like so much? There's so many white guys. Seinfeld. Can you be a little no, more specific? No, no, no. The guy that so he, his guys. symbol is this. <laughs> oh, Good yeah. luck, Chuck. Are you talking about Dane Cook? Dane Cook. Oh, was Dane, Dane Cook was a, no. Dane Cook well, is a talking comedian. About Dane Cook? No, Dane Cook, Dane Cook doesn't. <laughs> Comedian, he he's been a comedian. Oh, he was a comedian. Yeah, yeah Dane Cook is a big comedian. No, 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 is famous. no, no, no. Dane Cook is doing comedy for a long time. You know, time. it was is that type of shit that happens that they're happy to have Dane Cook in that movie type shit. He's a big, big, big deal. He's like yeah. he's now, up there. Now, but comedy's going, really hard. Going so. to comedy, going back to comedy, like as a person such as myself that wants to try it, mm-hmm. I legit want to do stand up. Okay, but I'm just too pussy. Um, how? What, what's that feeling like? Like, can you give me a insight of like the cameras is like all yeah. on you, eyes all on you? Like, you better crack us, make I, I us. I want to say smile. you can't teach funny. I know you saying your boy's not funny, but there's different like types of funny. Like, you can be funny for like your friends funny, but the difference between being funny for your friends funny and being like comedian where you can go on stage and do like 15 minutes funny is that you're able to take the funny that you do for your friends and mm-hmm. make everybody understand it. Because when you funny for your friends, it's like an inside joke. Like right. you, if he were to do some shit that you knew for him, and y'all, he would do it. Y'all would be cracking up, and I'd be sitting here like, okay, I don't, I don't <laughs> yeah, get it. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah, Nick, like three years ago, he did some shit, and you I know what I'm saying? It. And I'm like, oh, oh all right. Yeah, yeah, all right. But the comedian is the one who could take that inside joke and make it for everybody. For everybody. So okay. that that's all it is, and it just takes time. Like I started in 2013. I'm. I tell everybody I'm just starting to get funny. Like it's not even a joke. Yeah, I, I and you gotta be able to like you ever been re- you, nigga looking at you. I could tell you've been rejected before by woman. You ever been rejected before? You got that look in your eye. He definitely has. No, he got that look in his eye. He got that look in his eye. Like, let, let me get slow motion effects right here. <laughs> <laughs> get my back when you record. Take it easy, right Carl Thomas. Take it easy, Carl Thomas. Don't get your emotions. Uh, <laughs> if I've ever been rejected, he about to start singing Miguel. Go if ahead. If I've ever been rejected, is because yeah. I thought I had something smooth, but I didn't. <laughs> I, I, thought I, had, nope. I thought I had some crazy shit like, because my credit. It was like, nah, dude, uh, you never got camera, rejected? Man. Put the camera on this thing, man. <laughs> you never got rejected? Nah, um, I wouldn't say rejected. All the time. I like God got better plans for me. <laughs> so there you that's go. God a, had better that's plans. A, that's a funny answer. Got, that's he got rejected by a stripper while he had the money in his hands. So. Oh, <laughs> shit. We're not going to go to She strippers. was like, ah, I'm so not giving you that last I didn't get rejected. It's just that just guy was telling wings. me, like, no, focus on this path. So right. we're going to let move that. So, yeah, that so, sounds so anyway, like a real new He had a stack in his hand, and yeah. she was like, uh, all right. 
I just want wings. I don't really want to give you a lap dance, please. <laughs> She's like, I'm tired. No, Going back. What's bitch, that? you work what here. Do yeah, but my point in saying that is like, if you've ever been rejected by a woman or a man, it, it's, you know. You Either can, whatever floats your boat, because Alex be taking Molly's and going to raves. Right. You can go. You do. You go to rave. You don't even look like a rave type. Now Alex, no, oh, I'm talking about. Right, you go to yeah, raves? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't Are be, we ever going to get that? Wait, wait, wait. There are girls, <laughs> there are girls <laughs> on Molly at raves, and you don't. <laughs> you can <laughs> get one? I'm sorry. They're doing drugs and you can't pick them up. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> you know it's real. Shit. Yo, if they're on drugs and you still can't, they, they, they get sober. Man. They're like, uh, I think I, I think I'm changing my life. Me, this nigga sold me a tic tac for like, $35. <laughs> he walks up. They're like, are you a unicorn? And like, you can't bag him. I'm sorry. Oh, man. I'm just fucking with you, man. But no. nah, well, if you've ever been bad. rejected by anybody, bad. whoever it is, you can do comedy. It's that simple. And it's just a matter of just going up and explaining to people who you are. And once people can see who you are and they believe you, you're fine. It took me, I'm on my fifth year of comedy, man, and it took me like three going on four years to like figure out who I am on stage. Because when you get on stage and you look like me, everybody's expecting Deaf Comedy Jam, which was not me. I was raised in the mean streets of Park Slope, Brooklyn. Mm. All right, so we we recycling out there every day. We're not shooting. We're recycling, okay? Oh. Papers, plastics, organics. We don't <laughs> went out there doing gangsta. I mean, Park Soap was hard back in the day. It's fine now, but I just say that to say I wasn't raised in, like, you know what I mean? That's not who I am, you know what I mean? And everybody was expecting that. So it took me, I started off doing that shit, and it just, it was bombing everywhere because people didn't believe me. Like, that's, something's not right. Like, you know, I... I Mm-mm, he's not hood You know what I mean So it, I kind of figured out Who I was I got comfortable Who I am And that's when my comedy Started being really funny Like mm. telling sto- people Stories about how The first time I lost my virginity My mom called me It was when I was Washing dishes In the kitchen True story I'm whoa, sitting there whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> This guy You're like, oh, He said like, losing virginity this, My mom yes. And then washing dishes No hold on Let me that explain that no I sense. lost my virginity Washing dishes And there wasn't no women In the kitchen Alright That's, that's <laughs> okay. just want to tell you The kind please, of story please, please do proceed With the story Yeah no It's it's. <laughs> so I was 13 years old I ain't never I didn't touch no pussy Ever nothing yet First, uh, Chris has not still. So. Oh shit! Chris, you too. You can relate, Chris. You can relate. <laughs> he's like, at this, no, he still ain't touching pussy. Damn, bro. That the fuck when this nigga got juice thrown up. Y'all still talking about which pussy he's not getting? Kid, the nigga. This that's one thing about black people. Y'all he had a rough night. Black like, and Spanish people, man. I'm fucking people. People have a bad night, but nigga, look at this nigga sneakers right here. God damn, like he just had a bad night. Juice thrown on him. Nah, he don't get no pussy. He's like, yeah, y'all lift man. him up, man. Shit. <laughs> That was that was the ultimate comeback. <laughs> like yo, you know this nigga. I get I get more pussy than you though. <laughs> you ain't get no pussy. I don't smell nothing on your fingers anyway. No, nah, it was like a Saturday night. You know, it was my turn to wash the dishes, and like I'm washing the dishes, and everything is all good. Lots of soap, lots of hot water, bubbles, steam. It's going yeah. great. <laughs> I'm dying. This is getting romantic. You know, like when you watch it like a movie, like Transformers. You're like, oh, and you like you in the movie theater, yeah. like, all right, it's not until like two hours where you're gonna see like a ill fight or something. So it's like, yo, like I'm dying to hear the end of the story already. I gotta paint a picture. Sorry. That's the thing about comedy. Go ahead, you gotta go paint ahead, the picture. Go ahead. It's, it's steamy. It's hot. It's, it's a Saturday night. You know, it's just me and the dishes. You know, <laughs> <laughs> it's fucking. What, what are you thinking about? <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking about washing dishes at the time. Time, and then like I got an itch in my crotch, and <laughs> I'm seriously I'm one of those people I don't want to I don't want wet hands on a you know on your balls. If you ever like it's weird you put wet hands on the balls. I don't know. I've never I didn't I, I'm washing. <laughs> well, it's not more more importantly. You have itchy balls. You don't want to touch the dishes that your family have to wash. That's that's. He's like I don't like <laughs> wet. <laughs> With hands you, on balls, like, you jerking me off with wet hands. How dare you? <laughs> <laughs> I still you touch my <laughs> the wet ball. Your hands are wet. Have the decency to dry that shit before you touch my balls. But he said that shit like y'all could agree with me, right? Y'all could agree. I'm never really mad to me. <laughs> But I'm a judge. Yeah, the they got tears in that. That's how you know it's real oh, comedy. Nah, yeah, yeah. They got tears. <laughs> tears. Yeah, that shit don't bother you? <laughs> Wet hands on bo- Okay, I thought it's just me. All right, sorry, but like, I thought I thought everybody has some problems. <laughs> I'm glad that nigga didn't say, Can I get an amen? <laughs> Who don't like wet hands up in here? Like, I, I was reaching for five. And it was like, The fuck you talking about? It's pussy. Who cares if his hands are wet? I don't know. Uh, so I'm not 
not gonna go watch this. Like my stomach already. Hurt. That's all right. You good? You good? You gotta come. You gotta right, come. Go ahead, continue, October nineteenth, please. Caroline's continue, on Broadway. Please. So no, I didn't want to touch my hands with <laughs> my balls, my wet hands. I did not want to touch it. My crotch it was itching bad. So I started like I started like grinding against the counter. <laughs> And the shit was working. I know what you're talking about. It was about. working. No homo, I know what you're talking about, though. Like, but you know what I mean? Like, our shit was itching, and it was just like, you don't want to, you, your hands are wet and soapy. You really want to put that on your balls? <laughs> nah, I know what you're talking about. Right, so, that, okay. I don't know what you're talking about. So that's all I'm saying. It's I just, catch you. But so I used the countertop. It was kind of like this one. I'm not going to do it here and show y'all, but I was trying to <laughs> no, get the countertop. Trying to get that Because it was, it was, it, right. It was under the balls. So I'm scratching. I'm up against the counter and I'm going and it was working. I'm like, oh, this feels great. And then like, I don't know, at some point while I'm doing that, this shit started feeling good. <laughs> I, it, got I went, better. it got better. Yeah, again, yeah, it went from being an yeah, inch to feeling really good. It, like I don't know if I went too high or too low, but somewhere in the middle of that hit shit, the spot. I hit the spot, and <laughs> it started feeling really good. And like time stopped, and then like it was like I was in heaven. It was birds and angels and shit. <laughs> I'm I'm so serious right now. That shit felt so good. And then like I was in heaven, and then like all of a sudden. I had like this sensation that like somebody was like watching. You ever feel like you was being watched? <laughs> so I had my I, on everything. I had my eyes closed. So I'm sitting there. I'm just like, ah, just itch feels great. <laughs> and then my eyes are closed. And then like, I just feel like this presence. So I open my eyes and look, and there's my mother staring at me. <laughs> and uh, on everything. And she's on her phone like this. She was, she was talking on the phone and she was just like, she's just staring at me and just... <laughs> And the face she made was just like I farted and she walked into the cloud of <laughs> fart after the, she made that face. And I'm just, we met locked eyes and that was oh, man. the most awkward fucking moment in my life. Would you say it was an awkward silence? That was an awkward <laughs> silence because nobody said nothing because all she did was look at me like, mm, mm, something wrong with that boy. And just walked away. Something's wrong with that boy. She walked away and we never <laughs> talked about it. The only time we talked about it was years later when I did the joke on stage. So that, I mean, that's, that's what happened. I mean, there's more to it, but I want you to come see me live so you can get a rest. But basically, we didn't talk about that shit until I got off stage after doing that joke. She was like, yeah, I didn't want to talk about it. I was like, how come you didn't say that? She's like, I don't know what to say. <laughs> You're humping the kitchen counter. You got your penis out. I, I don't, what am I supposed to say to that? It's your, I'm your mother. I just like time. You ever been masturbating and time stopped? That's what happened. Time that stopped. Moment, it, it had stopped. Like I didn't get any older. <laughs> I just got fucking younger. <laughs> Bro, I lost my virginity at nineteen. I'm a late. Me blue. too. I'm a late. Blue. Oh, no, sh that? no shame in it, man. Sorry, no I'm shame not, in it, man. I got wet hands. Be careful. <laughs> uh, I'm not touching my balls. It's all right. <laughs> it's just nah, mad random. Nah, I'm um, not nah, because I'm saying like in that sense it's like nigga like by the time I was in there. I have been prepped through like right, right, boot right. camp and everything. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like at fourteen, you know, young kids they just go in there like without no preparation. Like my man, you, you, nah, you. I think I think by jerking, 19, I think you jerking you. I think jerking 19, off yeah. work, works you up to that. Right, point. but by nineteen, you already have jerked off so much, and you already have watched enough and heard enough. I mean, maybe like, you. Maybe I'm. Already, why you sound mad tense? Uh, you know, you know what I'm talking about. I uh, know. Now, if I would have, if I would have had sex at the age that I was at 13, I would have heard a bitch like with that dick. That was that. <laughs> that was salute dick. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to make y'all uncomfortable talking about penis, but I used to get the fucking rock hard concrete dick, and I didn't know what to do with this shit. I would have heard, <laughs> would have heard of it's drilling it. But 19, I had a little more suave about it. I kind of knew what I was doing a little bit, and you know, that was an actual first real piece of you know pussy, or whatever. <laughs> yeah. Now, um, going felt a lot better like, than the kitchen counter. <laughs> a lot better. Yeah, your fucking kitchen counter. Yeah, what you doing? You, you is it good? Is like it you, good for you? <laughs> is it good to you, kitchen counter? Uh, yeah, you like that varnished wood, huh? Like, you baby like girl, that? Man, go yeah. to sleep tonight. I'm gonna wash the dishes. We ain't even gonna <laughs> worry about. It. And I'm gonna wax like, you afterwards. He's like, girl. It's gonna be with her homegirls. Be like, yo, you know what? I never have a man a problem with my man washing oh, the dishes. He, he love. He all he loves, does is wash dishes. He does is wash dishes. All he does is wash dishes. He can't volunteer to wash dishes. How many? You guys Yo, I, go to, I go to Alex's crib. I dirty a plate. Oh, I wash that shit. I, I wash it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Why are you always 
just want to wash dishes. Let's go in the bedroom. Nah, girl. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a look, cleanliness before godliness, bitch. Yo, That's all I'm trying to these say. These dishes ain't going to wash themselves, bitch. Like, exactly. What if she gets you a dishwasher or some dumb shit? Like, bitch, who told yeah. you to get me a bitch? That'll start a fight. The fuck said I know how to use this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I'll throw this shit out. It's broke. You start fucking exactly. it up. Exactly. I look at this you like broke. you cheating on me. You got, but you went and bought a dishwasher? What the fuck is wrong with you? Fucking with you. Yo, how is it? Um, have you ever been like boot off stage? Um, I, know, I know that's like a real big thing where like I think which I, is a fear of yeah. like people like me that want to try it. Oh yeah, okay. So I can see you haven't started uh d- doing it. Uh your fear should not be booing being booed off stage. Your fear should be people not reacting at all. Because to be truthful with you, that happens more in comedy than booing. I think T V and movies have this idea of comedians that like when they're doing bad, people just start booing and, and throwing shit and booing you off stage. When people are booing you, that means that they want you to do like better. Like they came here expecting you to, to be LeBron James and nigga you just uh uh fucking scrub off the bench like a who's the scrub off the bench of the uh the Mello. <laughs> nah, not Mello. <laughs> give me give me a who's a scrub oh, like what a, y'all think. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, go ahead. Who's a, who's a scrub off the bench that you can name? Charlie Ward. He, they wanted they they came to see LeBron James and you showed up Charlie Ward on stage. So mm-hmm. they want you to do better and they expect more. And you're not like Dave Chappelle. If you watch his recent special, he talked about getting booed off stage in Detroit. When oh, they boo you, that means they love you and they want you to do better and they expect it better. And you're not. You're falling flat. They're gonna fucking boo because this shit. This isn't Dave Chappelle. This is who the fuck is this, this guy in the corner? Boo! I can hear this shit when I go home and my uncle, man. Boo! I paid for this shit. Boo! You're terrible. Boo! But when they're quiet, that means they don't give a fuck. So as I'm telling you, because I've been there where I've been on stage and people look at me like I'm fucking speaking Chinese. Like, the fuck is he saying Google Translate? Hold on a second. What this nigga saying? Can you translate that shit? It ain't related to anybody. Bro, you catch your life, man. I've done so many rooms and like I've done jokes and I would, I would, I wish I could be booed because that means at least they're fucking listening. But if they ain't saying shit, it's just like awkward silence, quiet like this. Well, you can hear the fucking air conditioner. <laughs> you don't even hear people breathing. You just hear the fucking air conditioners. You guys alive? Hello, y'all alive? You just hear. <laughs> hey, wow, that's a lot of AC. <laughs> exactly. You don't get that shit fixed. There ain't nothing wrong with AC, nigga. You, you <laughs> terrible. Well, that shit must be like, like me being a. Uh, I'm not a comedian, but like whatever. Like I tend to make people laugh. Yeah, mm-hmm. You ain't funny at all, thousand, fam. Uh, oh, let's ask your, all your followers. Oh, <laughs> oh, uh, so. Me having that effect on people, like there has been times where I'll say a joke and like get no reaction. It's like why, why, why? Like if but I, I say start, that joke, if everybody's like, thinking, oh, like, why would I you're say so that? So funny, like, stop I start it! Thinking all the negative shit. Yeah, well, people are afraid. Like, what it's... caused me to say that joke? Like, why would I do that? This girl's watching me, and I've been trying to like. I know? will tell you if if I'm looking at myself from like five years ago, I'll, if I one thing I could say to myself that I'll tell you when I started is that no matter where you are doing comedy, it's all the same. Like, I done Caroline's, I done Gotham Comedy Club, New York Comedy Club. I done performed in front of 200 people. It don't phase me. The one thing that I think about is that it's, it's all the same. It's, it's just different venues and more people. But that's all it is. It's just everybody's here to hear comedy. I done comedy in front of white people, black people. They just want to laugh and feel like they relate to you. Once they feel like they can relate to you, you're golden. Mm-hmm. Like, I have a joke talking about how the first time I smoked weed and, like, why I don't smoke weed anymore. Like, cause you, the way you motherfuckers prepare the weed is the most disgusting shit I've ever seen in my life. And this is coming from a guy who don't like his balls wet. Now, it's one that thing. That pretty weird. It is. But one thing when y'all doing the whole seed porn thing, and I'm fine with that. But when this, you motherfuckers got to put the shit together, that's when the shit turns me off. Oh, nah. They got boxes for that now. Now they oh, got, got boxes. Do, Jonathan, you're not sponsored by them. So stop trying they to Shout out to cookies out. for the boxes. Look, the the first time rolled. I ever tried to smoke weed. See, that's not, that's not bad. I, I wouldn't <laughs> mind that. But the first time I ever tried to smoke weed, I was with my cousin. My cousin Harlan, he lives in Philly, right? And this nigga was like, yo, Kev, you ever smoke First of all, nah. that's your problem. Don't trust the Philly niggas. Nah, that's my cousin. <laughs> the only nigga. thing I trust is Philly blunts. There you go. <laughs> that's my cousin. So he was like, you want to get high? And I was like, shit, uh, all right, yeah. we got shit to do, fine, whatever, you know. He was like, I'm going to get you high today. So he did all the, the shit and had the shit there, and he started rolling. And he was like, nigga, you going to get high today. I'm going to get you so high. Uh, <laughs> and you're like, uh, <laughs> doing all this Semi homoerotic <laughs> shit. I'm just like, he's like, you want to hit this now? I'm like, nigga, I am not hitting shit. You, I'm good with all that that shit. Like he, 
put all your tongue on the shit and smoke the shit, then want me to put my mouth on it? What the fuck you think this is? Like, get the shit out of my face. I was like, you know, I'm good. I'll just watch you do it, bro. You go ahead and get high by yourself. (laughs) But uh, that's all it is, being able to relate to people. That's it. And kind of being quick on your feet, which is something you learn. And that's it. You can't be afraid to fail, man. Who gives a fuck? Like, you bomb... You'll be fine. You, what's this, this is like asking the girl your dreams out. Like, I remember I had a crush on this girl in high school, and I was afraid to ask out. My boy's like, what the fuck is what's going to happen? What's, what's she going to say no? Then what? I'm like, yeah, hey, I'll be embarrassed. And you going to be here tomorrow? I'm like, yeah. You still eat tomorrow? Yeah. Then all right. That's all it is. You just got to get over that. Nah, um, Alex, take notes. No, because it kind of hurts when... <laughs> it does hurt. Uh, wait, 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 no, yeah. when your crush hurt, it hurts. Yeah, your yeah, high school crush? Like you yeah, you bomb in front of your high school crush. Yeah, 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 yeah. And she deny you, I know what it feels like. So. Yeah, no, that, that, that will take your soul right there. That shit hurt. It does hurt, but once you accept that it's going to happen, and if you're in the midst of it, and you acknowledge that it's happening, you'll be just fine. If you don't, you try to act like shit didn't happen and then that's when you fuck yourself up that's when it gets bad when the comics act like they're not bombing when you're clearly doing terrible and niggas just like they, they keep going I mean yeah. honestly like like I'm a battle rap fan and they do the you know semi the same thing yeah. they gotta go on stage hope to not bomb hope to get a reaction out of everything they say mm-hmm. and it's like sometimes like you said like sometimes it's not hitting right and it's like while they're booing they keep going like some of them you have to you have you to keep have going to. Like, yeah, fuck you, have like, to. Listen, like, you can't just stop but it's a be hard worse. thing to do because like, like if they don't want to hear you how are you going to try to sit there and be like well y'all gonna hear me for you 20 know what? more minutes if you can just reach one or two people you, it's fine even if nobody else is laughing if two people get you then you know you're doing something right mm. that's what you have to pay attention to can you guys see the size of this shit that yeah, yeah. Look at this. What the fuck is that? It's a like, baseball bat. I'm going to be honest with you. <laughs> Jesus I don't know. Christ. That looks, that looks like the shit they used to keep the mosquitoes right to keep the mosquitoes <laughs> away in the Brisk. West Indies. Shout out to Brisk. Brisk be in, the, in this podcast just smoking. That, that's his main that's focus. He's just here for the weed. He's he here for the weed. You don't even have no questions for him. And I know you're one of the people that on He's Sunday night. He's got a mic in front of him right with now. A, with a mic. Michael Chris. Chris has a mic now. Now I got the mic, but I don't got the stand, so I'm I'm working on the stand. <laughs> you know they can't hear you, bro. I can't even hear yeah, you in the headset. You got to turn There you go. Real close. There you go. Like this. There you go. Sir. There you go. Now go ahead. What's your question? What do you mean? I'm just saying, like, how does like how do you you know how do you work so hard? Like, how did you did you basically? Oh, man, that's the shit that now like I'm working. I'm working. He couldn't do he's both. Got at the same time. He's got he manners. He's got manners. Like, like I can't fucking no, no, smoke. No, no, I'm trying no, no, to be I'm professional. You know what I'm saying? Nah, but basically, like you know, like I, I to be honest, when I first got here, I didn't know who you were. But mm-hmm. now that you told me like who you are and everything, like it's crazy. Like you gotta really work hard. Like the game is not like how you said. Like you know, like it's not always given to you. Like you said, you got you got lucky and everything. Work, like, yeah. Not that I'm saying that you got lucky, like you know, you probably no, worked I, your ass off for it, but I'm just saying yeah, like, it's, it's like, a, bit a of lot luck, of people man. gotta know that. Like a lot of people live life like you know, like it don't matter. And it's only one that you get, son. So you gotta like put your mind to it and, and do what you gotta do and and I'm know, sorry, if you, was, if you don't believe a, in yourself, I'm if sorry. You don't believe in yourself, man. I'm sorry, was that a question yeah. or are you throwing a testimony here? What is this? He's a verdict testimony. I got a question. I love you. To be honest, I was fucking with you, man. I was fucking with you. I didn't talk the whole show. I was just absorbing everything. You know, I was holding the camera, whatever. But um, but now that I get to talk to you and everything, like, it is is inspiring, bro. Like. You make me right now, like, you make me want to do this every week. You yeah, no, saying? you, <laughs> listen, you can do I it. I telling these niggas, like, yo. You can I do it, bro. It. It, it's, it, you're right. It, like I said, it's not every day that it happens like this. And I will be the first to admit that I am lucky because there are people who I started doing acting with that I saw doing background when I was filming my scenes on the show. And they're like, wow. Like, you're here? Like, Wow. And it, it's, it's, it was a little bit of luck, but like I said, also, keep in mind, you have to be ready for the opportunity. Like, if, four years ago, if they were to give me the opportunity that I have now on power, I would have been terrible at it because I was not ready for that blessing. I, nice. I, I took some acting classes. I, I, you know, I worked hard at it. I did background. I was on set. 
doing background extra work and just watching how things work and seeing how to be a professional on the set, which I actually have a funny story about that uh, with please, me and Amari, my share. first. Please I will share. share. <laughs> but, share. but it's uh, it's like it's you have to be ready. You have to put the work in. Luck, luck means nothing. You can be as lucky as you want. Like, you know what I'm saying? Can you imagine, you know, you... You win the lottery. You win a. You win the the Powerball. I'm out on these niggas. <laughs> <laughs> right? That be dope, know, but that's what everybody would do, me, right? Nigga. Imagine you win the fucking Powerball lottery, and then the next fucking day you fall down and become a paraplegic. The uh, I'll be, I'll that's be crazy. crazy. Do you, you know, know what? what I, mean? I will kill myself just to go to heaven you and ask God, crazy. like my nigga, demon. What, what, what's the joke here? Your whole life, you 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 ain't doing shit, and you win the Powerball, and you break your fucking neck, and you can't. You gotta <laughs> have a system. Like what kind of? You I'm know what I mean? Nah, you know you from the waist down. You from the neck like down. Do happen. Like, right. <laughs> so it's like that. Where like if they had given me that opportunity, that would have been me. That power, I wouldn't have known what to do. But you know, I had the chance to develop and get better. So when the opportunity did present itself, I was ready. So I will say this: You just have to be ready um, for that. But thank you for that, brother man. You, anybody who, whatever you're doing, you know what I'm saying, just keep grinding away at it. And cream will rise to the top. Like four years ago, I was I wasn't doing Carolines, bro. I was terrible. If you go on my YouTube page, yeah. there's a cheap plug, Big Kev Comedy. <laughs> you could see my first ever time doing comedy on stage. And compare it to where I'm at now when you come see me on October 19th, you'll see a very big difference because I understand who I am as a comedian, as a person. I'm comfortable with myself. I'm not Black Grimace, as hood as he is, but I'm, I'm me, and I'm but okay I, with that. But how? That, that, All right. Like that dude that tried to spill the I know. We, 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 <laughs> we're getting to the end of the episode already, but I do want to ask you, how did you skip or how long you've been doing it to hop all the way to Caroline? It wasn't really a hop or a skip. I wish, you know, I wish it was that easy. There were so many shows I did between when I started. When I started, I did the New Talent Night at Caroline's. Um, I paid $340 to go to Caroline's School of Comedy, which, I mean, it didn't really, I mean, it, I don't want to say it didn't help me because it gave me some kind of idea how to structure a joke. Mm. But honestly, when you're first starting off, the best thing you could do, in my opinion, is you go do a lot of open open mics, do mm. a lot of comedy open mics, and you will learn because you'll watch how other people do it. Watch Netflix. Watch all the greats. Watch Mike Epps, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart. Watch how they do it. Don't steal their shit. Be original. Was, be yeah. you. But that's how you learn to do comedy, pretty much. That's no way. I want to suggest $340 because all she did was just was like, all right, I didn't even know what I was doing. She told me, but then she's like, all right, well, uh, what do you like? I'm like, I like chocolate. And I'm like, fucking. <laughs> well, well, and uh, uh, kitchen uh, sinks. She's, uh, <laughs> oh, well, do you, do you have that? any funny stories? And basically that was it. Like, you know, so, I mean, just go to open mics and watch the greats and you will come along and just be yourself. Be yourself. Once you figure out who you are, you're good. But um, I wanted to tell you that story about power. It's really funny. Um, it's my first... Uh, my first time on set, season two, when I opened the door for Amari for all the power fans. Season two, episode five. I'm gonna go check that out tonight. Yeah, open the door. It rewind. For that. Mm. that was like my first like big break as far as being an extra on Power, and I was like, I get to be on the, you know, and seeing one of the main stars of the show. So it was the middle of I want to say it was like the middle of February. And it was fucking cold, freezing. So between takes, they were putting in this big ass SUV. Me. And Omari. Now, I don't know him from Joe uh, Schmo because, like I said, I hadn't been watching the show. Mm -hmm. um, they put him, me and him in a car. I sit in the front seat. He sits in the back seat. And I'm like, oh, this is so cool. So I start talking. I was like, yo, what's up, man? You know, hey, I'm, my name's, you know, Kevin, blah, blah, blah. You know, we start talking. He's telling me he has a daughter. We're talking we've been married. So I say to him, hey, man, um, do you think once we're finished filming the scene that we can get a picture? He's like, oh, yeah, 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 sure, brother, no problem, no problem. Excuse me one second. He gets out the car, right? And I go see, he goes over and talks to somebody. I don't think nothing of it, right? The guy he talks to comes in the car. He sits next to me. And I'm thinking he's going to tell me, are we ready for a set again? Come back to set. He says to me, nigga, what the fuck you think you're doing asking the stars for a picture? You don't ever ask the stars for a picture. I'm like, what? what is the problem? He was like, you can't be asking the stars for pictures on the show, man. You got to be more professional than that. I'm like, he said yes, but is it a problem? I go apologize. He's like, nah, man, just don't ask for no pictures no more. I'm like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> so they call me back to set. I get out the car and I walk back. On my way back to set, 
Another PA comes up to me like, yo, Kev, you can't be asking the, the actors for pictures, man. She needs you to be a little more professional. I'm like, oh, my God. Like, I get it. Like, I get it by now. I get it. I'm like, this guy is supposed to be like the, the kingpin drug dealer. He just ratted me out to a couple of fucking PAs. He's yeah. a snitch. <laughs> He's so ghost, but he's a snitch. <laughs> y'all didn't get along at first, so no, long. no, man. I mean, I was a little annoyed about that, but I understood. You know, you gotta be professional on set. I didn't think it was necessary. To so you think he person. went? He went to the PAs and the yo. I saw him when he did it. That's what I'm saying <laughs> to you. The the first guy that I he, saw him. The first guy that he talked to was the same guy that said, "Nigga, what the fuck are you doing?" Asking, I was like, "Jesus Christ!" I didn't know. So who- how did he say that? Yo, your man over there asking for pictures. I don't know how he did it, but I just it looked real casual, yeah, and real he just came, came and out, he said, "I don't feel." So I did honestly. I did feel some type of way, but then I thought about. It, I was like, you know, you know, you understand. it put him in a position to be like he don't want to be the guy to say no. But at the same time, he's working. For him, this is his job. For me, it was just like a chance to be at the time. <laughs> like you didn't care if you died that episode. Like, right. Hey, it was on the show. I'm so here. for him, it's his job. And it's like, yo, he's trying to stay in character. He probably trying to memorize lines. I don't know none of that. So fast forward to season four when me and him are in the thing and I get knocked out. You mm-hmm. know the episode. You probably know the episode too. Mm-hmm. He's talking about he you come know, back. He, right. When they him come raid the trap house. On you. How dare they? In between the takes, right? We did we did the shoot and afterwards he says to me, Hey Kev, man, that was good. He's like, Yeah, man. Did I think I forgot you asked for a picture? That <laughs> 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 yeah, shit hurt so bad. I was so like, good. Oh shit. He remembers he me. He was like, Yeah, we thought I forgot about that. I remember you. I was like, fuck. I was like, oh man. But he was just like, yo, but you learned. And I was like, Yeah. You know, I'm gonna be honest with you. I get it. That's my role, right? No offense to Amari, but like that's my role, and I'm acting. And then like bust that door open, and Fifty Cent is right there in front of my face. Fam, I'm 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 gonna be like cut. Uh, Jump in the podcast. (laughs) Like, do you realize you are who you are? What's that feeling like? Like knowing you like working around these stars because even like yo Lorenz Tate is showing up on this yeah. oh my like, god hey. I didn't even know he was like, going to be in the show and I rode the elevator up with him I'm like nigga that's old dog right there yeah, right? <laughs> like, like, yo, know, like shit. How does it, and now like and they even involved like other certain celebrities like DJ Envy was like on the first mm-hmm. season and like but nobody yeah yo alright well yeah yeah alright yeah. 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 you know what alright but NB? other real characters Charlie Murphy you can say Charlie, Charlie Murphy oh, Charlie, Charlie fucking Murphy, Murphy. And you a comedian so imagine like yeah no it, it it's not even um Wait, hold up. What's I want to hear this. What's the 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 guy that's trying to take like went behind his back while he was in jail gave Tasha the money? The businessman, the other guy? The lawyer. Oh, you're talking about um Rothstein? No, no, Oh, you're talking about the white guy. Not uh, Simon Stern, the guy who's Simon, Simon Stern. Stern, Stern, Stern. Yeah, yeah. He, Stern, he, was, he was from Murphy. Titanic. He was in Titanic. I watched Titanic. Yeah, he was in Titanic. He's also in The Flash and then um the guy from Hamilton. Yeah. He's also on the show as a love interest. I will say that the first two table reads, um, while I was a little bit starstruck, I ain't even gonna lie to you. Like, you walk in a room and like there's the showrunner who hired you with the executive producers and all these higher ups. Then there's Fifty Cent sitting next to her. On the other side of the table, now you got like the guy who plays Tommy, Joe Sakura, and the Tory Nault and Lala sitting there. And all these people who are involved in the show, and, and I'm just like, and, her and then me, you know, just Kevin made his Lala and her titties, and the you, <laughs> <laughs> you know, she's a real sweetheart too. Like, so many stories. I got another funny story about her, but I'll tell you that after this. But um, <laughs> it, after the after the first, like they they made me feel very welcome and comfortable because I was nervous as shit. Like Fifty Cent sitting right there, like, mm-hmm. and he said, "What's up to me?" And the nigga knows who I am now. Like it's. I mean, we're not best friends. Don't nah, get me wrong. Like, yeah, like, but if the nigga were walking down the street, he'd be like, oh, hey, what up? You know, he knows who I am because mm-hmm. I made him money. So you don't ever forget somebody who makes you money. But after the first two times, I, I completely was comfortable. I mean, you got, you're there to do a job. You're not there to sit there and be like, oh, my God, hey, 50, can we get a selfie? You know what I mean? Like, it's okay. Like, once the business is done, then, right, right. you know, at that point, if you want to, like, take pictures. But you're there to do something. And I... I focused on that immediately because I didn't want to lose you know my opportunity by you know being so, I get it. so it's more like a you 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 tone yourself down like you, know you do you get used to it like I said it's like seeing titties every day you know what I mean it's right. like you all right cool 50 get over that shock boom Omari get over that shock boom Lorenz Tate get over that shock and then you move forward so 
back to Lala though. Lala was great. Met her at the cap so She thought I was fifty, and she tapped me. What? Yeah. No. It Did was, she go behind you like, oh hey? And nope. You're like, Girl. It she's was like, season. <laughs> it was a season three rap party. I'll never forget it. And I was walking. I had just gotten in. I was walking by. I was saying hi to the people that I knew from on the show. And I feel that somebody bumped me real hard as if to say, hey, mm-hmm. you, why don't you say hi to me? I turned around and it was Lala. And she was wearing this very nice, uh, like, turquoise blue dress, form-fitted. She gave me this nice smile. And I was like, hi. <laughs> like, the goofiest, yeah. you know, hi. And she was just like, hmm. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, and then she gave me the, hmm. <laughs> you know, when girls give me the, hmm, and then, it, you know, then they walk away and you, you blew it. But she did, you know, it was great. Now, now she knows who I am, too. She's a very nice lady. And yes, she does have a nice body. I'd be lying if I didn't say that. You know what I mean? I don't really know about her body, but her titty. I'm a, I'm a titty <laughs> she man. all titties. But uh, no, I wanted, to, I wanted very... to ask you. <laughs> all like, titties. Um, I wanted to ask you, like, so you're on the set of Power. Earlier, before the se- behind the scenes, we were talking about how you, like, characters don't know episodes they're not involved in. Right. So does that make you have a certain relationship with other characters versus... As opposed to what you characters mean, offset you have it, or onset. Like offset. Like does it make you have a build a relationship with characters that you've had a screen yeah. with versus as opposed to characters that haven't been in the same room as you like. Oh, I see, you I, and I see Raina what you're saying. Really um, yeah, no, that. and I, uh, the only time I see a lot of other uh, I'm not I'm not saying this to be like mean to anybody. No. I'm we're not I'm not friends with a lot of people on the cast. I mean we're all friendly we're co-workers, we're associates. Mm-hmm. I don't, in my opinion, some, if I consider you a friend, I got to see you more than once a week or I got to talk to you on the phone. But I'm, I'm friendly with a lot of the people on the cast and like, you know, they're good people and um, I see them at the table reads. Um, but the only time I see them is there at the table reads. I don't see people like, the only people you see on set is the people that you're in the scenes with. And most of the people that I saw on right. the set were, you know, Tommy, Julio, and whoever else was in the underworld criminal syndicate, like I didn't cross paths with Lala or any. Right. They, Which is I what think I'm they asking, deliberately like, keep why. the show apart. So you but the person I had the closest relationship, honestly, with was the guy who um, played Julio, J.R. Ramirez, mm. because he would take the time. He would sit with me during lunch because I really didn't know anybody. Right, like, right, right. and nobody was really like the stars, like Joe and stuff. They would take their lunch somewhere else or take it in a trailer. So he would sit with me. He would talk, and he was a guy I kind of felt like I built the closest bond with. And he, you know, he, you know, he kind of made me feel really comfortable and stuff. So, because you know, I'm, you know, you're unsure. I don't, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not an experienced actor. I'm not sure on the set, but he made me feel very comfortable. But everybody's cool. Like table reads, everybody's cool. You know, not besties, like I said, but we work coworkers. Yeah, everybody's you know, coworkers. You know, you know, you know how coworkers you know, are. You know, you know how serious power is to people. When he's talking about Jr. What's his last name? Ramirez. Jr. Ramirez. And my eyes get watery because he's dead. <laughs> but it's rest. like, yo, he's not dead. Man. Like, <laughs> he's like, rest in peace. <laughs> Alex is still yeah. mourning him. Julio. Shout out to Julio. Yo, Julio, Shout you ain't got to die like the other kill my man, Julio. To, no, but seriously, like, this show has, yo, it changes people's lives. Like, everybody, like, legit falls in love with characters like they've never they had before. They surely like, do. Like, I legit <laughs> walk down the street and I'm like, yo, I want to be like Ghost. Like, I want that respect <laughs> Ghost has. Like, when this nigga says, I got it. Yeah, some of y'all I tell your mom tell you to watch the dishes. Like, damn it, you can't be Ghost. <laughs> <laughs> some of y'all fans got to calm down, though. Y'all be writing some yeah, crazy man, shit on people's Instagram pages. It. What's, like, the craziest comment somebody has written to you or DM'd you? Like, because I know these fans take it so literal that they'll, like, trash you. Based on well, I've been lucky that I've never been in a position to where like somebody I've done something that's kind of controversial. So, but I've seen some people with some comments like when I you were talking about like how this big nigga get knocked out in one punch, like I got I got that a couple times in episode that whatever episode that was that mean mm-hmm. host had the interaction. And then there were some people who made comments on how I look. Oh, look at this big cookie monster looking motherfucker <laughs> over here. That's why I try not to read Twitter too much. But you know. I, comments like I got a couple of DMs like, well, you know, what happened to Tommy? Where's Tommy? Why are you holding his phone? When do you kill Dre? You know, <laughs> he said, just, "Why are you holding Tommy phone?" <laughs> yeah, I, I end up deleting a lot of those. But some of the crazy stuff on some of the other cast members' pages, I see people write like one guy wrote on David Fumero who pays uh, Sandoval. Uh, mm. Somebody wrote on one of his IG pages. Rat. Yeah, well, well, he went worse than that. You know, it's one thing just to do that, but somebody wrote, yo. If I see you in the street, everybody else on the cast is cool, but you better not come to no rap party what? because if I see you there, my nigga, it's on site. I don't like you, and that's real life. And I'm just like, my nigga, it is a TV show. Your word, like, 
But you know what? If he could get a reaction like that out of somebody, he's doing a good job. Yeah, him. The lady who plays Angela Leela, sweetheart. And people write all kinds of nasty. She just started letting people comment on her IG because yeah. people were writing some crazy I, shit. I've seen that. that that's, <laughs> that's, I, that's fucked up. That is. No like, no, like legit. I saw an interview by her in the in the Breakfast Club. And then like I go to her IG like to see some like pictures of yo, her. Yo, some real hate. And then like I look at the comments. I'm like, yo, my niggas is like, relax. Like, it's a picture of her and people, her mom. People and it's on bugging. some like, yo... I swear to God, I hope you you die next, bitch. Like yo, like, like yo, do you yes. realize her mom is in the picture. Like, like it is the uh, shit they wouldn't yeah. say to their face in like real life. Yeah, like, like in real life, they'll be like, oh my God, can I get a picture with yeah, you? Right that ass. Right my legit. favorite cat. Right away, they see somebody like yo. Guess who I got a picture with? Angela. Like, or or or, or they'll be mad fake through. when they find later on that she helps go get a job. I always knew you was the realest one. I on, appreciate man. you. Tasha's <laughs> the hoe. If anything, Tasha's the hoe. <laughs> I hope Tasha don't get back with ghosts. There you go. But yeah, that was just crazy shit. I just people need to just calm down your passion understand but so just like there's real I mean, people uh, behind this well, so hopefully you, Angela's single for hopefully I got a chance I don't know if she's single but she is fine like, all the women on that show were fine like, she's Puerto Rican yeah, yeah. she's Puerto Rican I yeah. thought she was Mexican is she Mexican no she's actually Mexican I think. oh she is yeah, oh, no, I think she's Mexican tell me some shit I don't know yeah, your cast yeah, member no yeah Puerto she's Rican. Puerto Rican I'm like, Wait, I thought I'm she was Mexican out. shout out to Jonathan my niggas Jonathan today looks like a fucking actual Podcaster. Oh like, shit! He her, mother her mother is Mexican. Her mother is Mexican. He's her prepared. Is, her mother is Mexican. Oh. He's prepared. He had the white Hennessy. He had the yeah, weed all rolled up. Like, weed. He made me feel he, a little he comfortable. Gonna, he ain't gonna shut up for this episode for like ten more episodes. <laughs> like, nigga, right. First of all, I brought Ken to your show. <laughs> no, just this dude is a mad cool dude, man. Like I ain't gonna say a job because I want people coming. Word. And fuck my There's shit. There's no up. discounts. There's yeah, I was no gonna discounts, get at you but... at first because when Jonathan said, "Yo, guess who coming to my shop?" I thought to myself. Really? Like, <laughs> I expect them to go to a different shop. <laughs> no, but he, he, you know, it, I didn't come here because he did anything for me. But Man. after since I've been going to where his job was, they take care of me. Real talk. And then, like, I didn't, I'm not a bragger. I don't go around telling people, you know, mm. I'm on power. I mean, I've done a lot of other things other than power that maybe not as big as, but it's just as notable. Right. But uh, I you know, just don't brag. And he just, I came in the other day, he saw me, he was like, yo, my nigga, yo. You on power, nigga. Uh, because <laughs> me and him was, we had a great, we had yeah, a great before conversation that. before that. Before so he, he was, was in power, cool. we had a talk, and I'm like, then I told Andrew, I'm like, yo, Andrew, I think that dude from Power comes here. I know we talked. <laughs> if and we didn't like, have nah. that, you know, if we didn't have that talk, he probably would have never. He's remembered like, me. nah. And then he came the other day. I hit the glass. Like I told you, nigga. <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Andrew was like, nah, you're we right. had to talk about some real shit about Brooklyn and cars and yeah, shit. Yeah, and yeah. he was cool. So every time I go there, I always go to him. Yeah. So I mean, it, he you know it took care of me. So he was like, "Yo, Kev, I got this podcast." I was like, "You got a podcast, please, man. You got some friends at your house. You come over. <laughs> I'll come over there, shake a few hands." And go over. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, it was cool, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, he took care of me. So you know, it just wasn't. He's not paying me. For, I don't hope y'all don't think he's paying me. He just yeah, paid yeah, me in Hennessy. I, I think the <laughs> people know we ain't cups got no damn dry. <laughs> we, 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 <laughs> they, they, they know that we they ain't got no they, damn money. They know they yeah they know. Please all follow our GoFundMe account. Send some money for new better equipment. Get Chris a mic. That should be the, <laughs> no, I need the mic stand. That should be a, a hashtag. Yo, go fund us for you can go get Chris a mic hashtag stand. Hashtag get Chris a mic. We only need a thousand. Yo, uh, Kev. Mm -hmm. So you're a comedian by day. Yes. Uh, an actor by night. I think you got What's it backwards, some, but yes. Backwards, yeah. Listen, backwards. the Henny is a little... Oh, in. I thought you were smoking weed too. It was, you was a little bit. He took too that contact uh, He's a, you're an act, you, you're you're a comedian by day, an actor by day. What? You, you should know about acting, CGI effects. Mm. This is all CGI effects. <laughs> if y'all saw me smoking, yeah, no, but I do, I do both. Yeah. Now, both. what is something that like that doesn't give people like what's something that people wouldn't know about you since you do two things. Um, where it's like, uh, clearly, we know he don't like oh, wet hands yes, on balls, yes, and two, he humps yes, sinks. Yes, <laughs> right. Sinks is popping. You, yeah, if right. you got a marble sink, I come over and wash <laughs> your dishes anytime. <laughs> bitch. Don't even wax that bitch. I wax that shit with my balls. <laughs> Ain't nobody dope. All right, no, let me stop. Uh, what is they don't know about me? What's some crazy shit? Because I don't want to tell y'all some regular shit. You know, I watch The Walking Dead. Um, I don't watch a lot of. TV. I like wrestling. Big time wrestling fan. Um, what's some crazy? I used to play Jeopardy with my sisters. I still watch Jeopardy to this day. 
And because I think I'm smarter than all the people on Jeopardy. For real? <laughs> Every fan thinks that. I, Jeopardy, no, everybody my, I no, know. No, my nigga. I'm smarter. Everybody and I know. When, when I give the right answer and them motherfuckers give the wrong answer, I talk so much shit. <laughs> you dumb motherfucker. I, to- oh, I should have been on this fucking show. This nigga don't know what he's doing. He's stupid <laughs> as fuck. Go ahead. Buzz. Buzz. <laughs> wrong answer, bitch. You, know, I, I cuss. I, you so dumb. You so you dumb. You so dumb. <laughs> nah, I love watching Jeopardy. I'm like a kind of nerd in that way. I'm like a random facts trivia nerd and shit. Like, you know, know, I was a big time history nerd too, and big time fan of history. I, I, I'm not bragging, but I am. I aced all my history regions: American history, world history, and uh, European history and shit. I aced all them regions when I was in high school. That was a big time um, history buff. So, I was. That's that's something you wouldn't really expect. You see a guy like me, you know. <laughs> You're like, wait a minute, I know. Football, the basketball, no, nah, nigga, history, man. Let me tell you about this industrial revolution, my <laughs> nigga, and how the United States and his manifest destiny try to take over the fucking world. I swear to God, like, I had history in high school. Like, I, I failed all my history every year. I never fucking passed. That was my favorite subject, bro. Yeah, I, pa- I failed that shit so bad that, like, when I was supposed to graduate, they said, well, you know how you had, like, seven gym classes? Mm-hmm. Well, I had like eight fucking Damn. U.S. history. U.S. Damn, government. you were dumb. US. You so dumb. No, like, I'm not gonna fit past you. So dumb. But when I learned about the French Revolution, there you go. I will say I was like, Yo, my nigga, y'all better get to social studies because we we missing this class today. Like, come on, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, Sitting for me, it was like light. it was like reading a book, dude. Like it was easier than any other subject. Like math and shit, you gotta know numbers and do Ma- oh, math sir, and shit. Sir, Science, math, you gotta know math chemicals. Is my subject. Social studies, bro. All you have to do is remember how it beginning and how it finished, and that's Too it. Much? You gotta remember mad names, like nah, the names is easy, bro. It's like characters in a book. Math that's it. Was, math was the popular shit because it's like, yo, you already know what's coming next. Too many fucking with, formulas. Like, and then you uh, get. He, 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 I used to no. get. I used to get points Shut taken up. off of my test. Not for having the wrong answer, yeah. but because you didn't show the work. work. Wait, so math your favorite subject? Yeah, you math. use any of that shit now? I listen, yeah. So he back does to right comedy. now. <laughs> 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 he tries to use that now, like girl, me plus you equals well, love. <laughs> he, he probably tried to find a girl. reason. You, you remember that graphic calculator? Yeah. yeah. He why takes we, that shit to the supermarket. Yo, ex. How, <laughs> how about we just divide? <laughs> how about we just add me and you together? We don't have to. Find you probably try to find ways to use your graphic calculator at the supermarket. Don't yeah, you? Pull that big shit out. Like, how much is this shit? All right, let me find sand cosine of this. These eggs. I will say, like, I was popping in math all through the years, and then as soon as that cosine sign, and I was like, yo, I give up. I got up to here. Thank you for having me. That shit is hard, man. Thank you for having me. That was a great. Fuck, am I using sine cosine to buy a fucking car? Like, yo, how many payments can I save? Well, if you throw the X over Y tangent, you can figure so what, out how pi? much you can save. What? Pi equals what? <laughs> pi equals good. I've been broke for a lot <laughs> of years. But, I mean, come on, guys. Yeah, y'all I mean, a lot. You know what's funny though? That a lot of the weed men fail, <laughs> fail math. All of well, a sudden, they, they know, know how to exactly. count <laughs> half <laughs> quarters. Oh, yeah, that's exactly. Yo, they're like, yo, my friend, there's 1.8 grams. You're like, nigga, you didn't even show up to class. Exactly. With it. <laughs> one point, he pulls out a scale and shit. You want to weigh this shit, my nigga? Here you go. <laughs> that's like, all yeah. the math they know. That's go. all the math they know. They Y'all. make sure they're in the metric system. Yeah. <laughs> Kev. Yep. I just want to let you know that uh, you're actually the first of many guests that came up here with a different, with a different skill. What's that? Which is I be oh, inviting the these, these the rappers. Oh, okay. we, may, we mainly get the same career people, people in the same career field. That are, what you mean, like panhandlers? Rappers, we like had rappers. A bartender. But what I'm saying, oh, we had a bartender. But what I'm saying is that you're the first of. Your thing, and I'm gonna remember this episode because you gave some wise words. Don't tell me being a person that wants to try to do stand up yeah. along, along the line. So, I do want to thank you for coming, taking no the doubt, time. Man, no doubt, thank God Jonathan met you. Man, me, yeah. I'm getting emotional because yeah, let me tell you about anyway, right? I'm thinking about <laughs> 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 he didn't have that much anyway. Yeah. Yeah. He's no. about to go rub sinks at home when he gets I'm just thinking about my dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, son, That's I miss right, you, girl. Man. <laughs> Uh, Kev, thank yes. you so much for coming through. No doubt. Can I give up my social media and all that please, stuff? Of course. If you don't mind. Um, you? Any, all social media, at Big Kev Comedy. Um, if you want to subscribe to me on YouTube, I have a YouTube page. It is Big Kev Comedy on YouTube. Um, I do Uber in my spare time when shit is slow. Uh, between um, things, I'm not afraid. I'm ashamed to admit it, cause nigga, I'm not rich. You it's know what I'm hustle, saying? Nigga, don't worry about you're it, hustling. bro. I gotta make that bread, and you, you might just you I'm might just get the guy from it. Power to bring you your fucking burger. Wouldn't that be great? You eat your burger, like nigga, am I high? Don't <laughs> I'm just watching you on TV? Aren't you the nigga? <laughs> it doesn't happen that much. Be honest, people gotta really look at you. But 
I have some reviews of Uber, Postmates, and some other things, some comedy sketches on there, my earlier comedy, like I mentioned earlier. So it's all on Big Kev Comedy. If you want to subscribe and watch it, I appreciate it. It's free. Might as well. You got a couple minutes in your day. I got a blog on there about some of my comedy adventures. And uh, most importantly, Caroline's on Broadway. Better not bring your kids. Justin Ramos, Rashad Bashir, myself, headliner Warren Gardner, Asia Bennett, Christina Galston. Last with Travi. If you go on Instagram, he's like a big time Instagram comedian. He's a really funny guy. Tickets are twenty dollars, but go online, buy the tickets, use the promo code BNBYK, and it's like ten, eleven dollars. It's worth you it. You know, I'm using that. Did you fucking order it already? I I, I saw was, you on Caroline's. Like, I, <laughs> I was on the website. You couldn't buy me and Chris a fucking <laughs> ticket. Word. I made my own ticket. Fuck yeah. There you go. <laughs> October nineteenth, uh, nine p.m. is great, great show, and that's uh, that's pretty much everything, man. You guys have any questions? You got any questions? Hit me up on Twitter. You know, at Big Kev Comedy, Instagram at Big Kev Comedy, Snapchat, DJ Big Kev, when he HD when he used to DJ. Oh shit! Yeah, we're not even it's another going story. That's a long. We're not even going <laughs> yeah, I'm West that. Indian. I had like sixteen <laughs> jobs. And we'll, shit. we'll see you at the end of this season of Power on the next yeah. season. of the next season mm-hmm. of the next season coming out 2019. Yep. Next year, actually. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, moving like that. That honey hit you like that? No, no, no. Because Mike Tyson. First of all, y'all y- 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 took a while to come back from season, from three to four. It's right? the same yeah, thing every year. Bit. When they when the season ends, they start filming in September and they finish filming in March. So you'll have season five roughly around the same time, or maybe earlier. Fifty said they might be earlier, so you never know. It might instead of June, might come back in the end of May. Well. I hope to see you on the next season. Me too. Pray to see you get some titties this season. Ah, man. Bust a gun this season. I hope, man. And uh, I know you're going to die this season. I'm going to let you know right yo, now. Put, I put hope you, you don't. put your money I on it? I hope you don't. Yo, you know what? He's we a bad man. We should have a bet. I know how power works already, fam. Uh-huh. I, my man, you a cool dude. You're a comedian. Great. I love you. What you got you do. to die. But, but they're going to kill you. Like, really? They're going to kill you. Uh, damn, that, yes, I hope. Yo, either, I love like, power. Look, look what power does to do, right? First of all, you Yo, hear, but you, you know what's crazy? Those. If they kill you in the show, I just gonna be going to kill my homie Kev, son. Nah, they kill him. I'm going to be crying. <laughs> <laughs> but, look, this, this is what power his does. Mom, he's going to be is, his mom's house. Like, yo, why you crying? My boy just died. And tell me this is not what happens on power, right? First of all, you hear Omari's sexy ass voice. No homo, but bitches love this nigga. And I'd be jealous of him, too. But you hear his voice going, previously on power. <laughs> <laughs> that was and pretty good, like, man. That was pretty right? good. And then you start seeing, like, ghost. We need to stop ghost. Angela, what is going on, Angela? Uh, what the fuck is going on here, huh? I told you a kid. And the next thing you know, they show a character from, like, season one. <laughs> and it's like, why the fuck did they just throw that in there? But it's because in the episode he's coming back or whatever the case is. Like, so I already know power is, like, the back of my hand. I'm a fucking fan. So I'm telling you, Kev. Love yeah, what you, you, do, you, you might know something. Die. I don't know. I you don't know. Gonna die, Kev. I, Alex is predicting the you, future for you. You're going to die. Something's going to blow up and kill know. you. You're going to die. Well, you know, they say to die on camera is like the greatest honor on the show because all the people who died on camera, they died for a reason. They, you know, they had a great scene and you don't end up dying. That's how you know somebody important because you could die like somebody, you know, go to the bathroom 15 minutes later. Yeah. Hey, where the fuck is, uh, you know, Malik? We just sent to the bathroom. Then mm. going back from niggas dead. You don't even know what happened. <laughs> niggas just laying there. Oh, he's dead. So, you know. You have Ice T looking over the body like, oh, yeah, somebody if, had a if rough If it would have happened, bro, it'd be great. I mean, but who knows? I don't know what's in the mind of the writers and I'm not knowing until I get there. So, you know, if you want to put your money up, we can do it. You know, it, son. I got money on it. I'm telling you. First of all, my hashtag is going to be pray for Kev because then we're going to hope that you don't die. I don't want you to die, right. but I'm letting you know how the show works. You're going to die. <laughs> He's going to make a hashtag Listen, the whole season. We're going to bet off on the camera. You want to bet on camera? Kev. Go, go ahead, man. Go ahead. Um, I got $100. You die this year. Oh, oh, oh he I cheap, too. He He's Does confident. Does he really have 100 <laughs> I don't know so about I don't know. that. I'm, I'm looking at his starter chain, and I'm not thinking it's $100. You, you met Jonathan at Toyota. No, no. You, you, let's get that clear. You met Jonathan at Toyota. Yo, what are you telling me? <laughs> at Toyota. It was not at the BMW. It was at Toyota. As, as, it was at the BMW. No, yo, the Toyotas uh, are reliable pine. good cars. And until I start making uh, them at 50 cent money, I am oh, not no, upgrading that car. I'm road. not giving that car up. Camry. 
It's a 2013 Toyota Highlander. No rims, a stock model. Leather oh, seats. Power ain't paying that much. I I'm going to Empire. Holla at me. <laughs> <laughs> nah, yeah, um, but all just aside, $100, Kev. You're dying this season. All right, dying. Sh- get the handshake. Oh, <laughs> You're dying this season. I'm dying this season? So who, this who, season. do I come back here and collect? Yes, nah, don't go to Toyota. 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 He's going to be Toyota. Like, yeah, I'm okay. Okay. every day. Kev's going to be outside free, Toyota like, hey, motherfucker, I'm looking for- dollars worth of basket robin coupon. Kevin is going to show up to Toyota like, yo, I'm looking for your boy. No, nah, yeah. I mean, got that <laughs> Where you Kev, at? Kev, Kev, I got $100. You dying this season. All right. I don't know. I, I don't know what's happening. I'm, I'm praying that you don't. Okay. <laughs> no, I get it. I get it. Pray for Kev, but you're dying this season. Pray for Kev, but he got to die uh, this Nah, season. he don't got to die. It's just that that's how they run that office in there. They just well, get, they kill little girls for no reason. Yeah. Man. They, they, no, that was the reason. You know, listen. like I said, to advance the story. But we'll see, man. I don't know what happened. I couldn't right. tell you. Well, listen, thank you for coming by. But I appreciate the, the love, man. I'm you guys are fan. cool. and I, re- I definitely want to go to keep, Y'all keep grinding. And, and please buy this nigga a legit mic stand. I feel so bad. He holding a camera and a microphone at the same time. Can't even drink his Hennessy. We can't even hear this nigga. He talking. I'm like, what the... <laughs> he, he think, you know what it is like? <laughs> you, you, know, you know when you buy a kid? I hear it in the video. Nah, you got to turn it around. You know... The thing about Chris yeah. is you know how like when you used to play Nintendo 64 <laughs> and your little brother wanted to play? <laughs> and you give him a controller but you don't plug it in? <laughs> Y'all niggas made him the intro. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> you played, you played. What you crying for? You played. Look, you number two. Look, you see that guy in the back in the stands? That's you, man. Get in the game. What the fuck, man? You crying, you playing. <laughs> It's not doing nothing because you're not pressing the oh, right buttons. Conyo, mommy, I tried to let him play with me. He's not playing right. Man, you bitching, man. Fuck. <laughs> Yo, everybody got to get it in this show, son. Now, let's talk about Jonathan's forehead. <laughs> Yo, oh. what the fuck? Yeah, my <laughs> nah, man. Thank you for coming by, guys. Anytime, man. Anytime. I, I am Alexa C. Johnny Doe. John Cree behind the camera. I don't even know you can hear me. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody heard you. you would you like to shout out on the camera? No, that's cool. Just out here, my boy Kevin right here. Michael is Chris. You know what I'm saying? We out here and after silence. Boom.